Salt Spring is a well-known geologic phenomenon in all the Florida geologic publications. It's well known because of the natural bridges like the one I'm standing on here. The spring run is 100 yards to my left and the salt marsh is 100 yards to my right. Over the course of the spring run, there are three natural rock bridges. At low tide, the surface is rock, but the spring still flows out to the marsh underneath these bridges. Even though Salt Springs has been known to geologists for many years, it was only recently discovered by cave divers. In the past year, divers were able to push past narrow entrance tunnels to explore two large, deep rooms. White, wispy filaments of sulfur oxidizing bacteria indicated that the waters beyond the entrance would contain sulfide. The narrow entrance tunnel was rocky, so we were surprised to find a thick bacterial biofilm on the walls of the vertical solution tube at the end of the entrance tunnel. The bacteria formed fingers that pointed downward into the abyss. Following the solution tube down, we encountered a small room at a depth of 60 feet. When our exhaust bubbles knocked the bacteria loose from the walls of the cave, we were able to see the fossil-rich limestone underneath. The only lead out of the shallow room was down a narrow crack of the crack had been eroded into a series of small ridges. At a depth of 120 feet we emerged from the crack to find a large room coated by bacteria and filled with tannic water.
Initially, we were unable to find leads from this room. When we searched the floor, we found a lead at a depth of 200 feet, but ended the dive because we were breathing air. We would need mixed gas containing helium to pursue this lead. Alex Warren describes the discovery of the deep tunnel immediately following the dive. What'd you think? It was great. I never expected to go that deep on, on this dive. It got really clear for a moment. You know, it, was a, it was a great dive, the deepest ever exploration dive I've ever made. So what did you think when you hit that clear water? It really surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, me neither. I, I thought uh, because of the bluish tint it was uh, fresh water, but I still can't really say. Well, we'll find out when we download the Hydrolab data. Anything else you remember about the dive? Uh, the vis dropped to zero uh, because of the soft limestone and uh, milky, milky water when, once the bubbles hit the ceiling. So, uh, no, I didn't see much on the way up. So when you touch the limestone, your hands kind of sink into it, don't they? It's real uh, soft. Yeah, very, very soft. It just feels like a, like a mud almost. What did you notice about the uh, bacteria coating the walls when we got deeper? Well, there's only only about 50% uh, of the walls were coated, maybe even less. So compared to the first part of the cave, it looked really bright and uh, white very white walls with just uh, spots of uh, black uh, bacteria. And you think the passage keeps going? Absolutely. The lead from the large tannic water filled room opened into a room full of clear salt water at a depth of 250 feet. Our lights looked green in the immense room, so it was named the Emerald Room. Like a climber on top of a mountain, we were dwarfed by the scale of our surroundings. The Emerald Room had a diameter of more than 200 feet and a height of over 50 feet. <laughs> 